Hello everyone, today I'm doing a video about the area between Flagstaff and Lake Mary. So if you are interested in getting a quick little overview of Lake Mary and driving through some of the small subdivisions that are between Flagstaff, actually they are Flagstaff, but on the outskirts of Flagstaff on the way to Lake Mary, I'm going to stop at a couple of places and show you what kind of cabins are out here and maybe some land pieces and uh, that's what my video is about today. So stay tuned if you want to see Flagstaff and Lake Mary. The channel is Living in Northern Arizona where I'll teach you everything you might need to know about living in the northern half of the state, what it's like to live here, work here, play here, retire here. So if you like the video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button, and even the notification bell because what that does is it helps other people who are looking for this type of information to find the video and to find the channel. My name is Dawn Dickinson. I sell real estate in the northern half of the state, particularly Flagstaff, Sedona, Prescott. Scott, Verde Valley. If you have a real estate question, uh, you can do what a lot of people do. They just give me a call, a phone call, a text, an email. My contact information is above and I always put a link in the description below. There's also a link to my website if you want to uh, go to the website. There's an area where you could just schedule a 30 minute phone call or Zoom call and I'll tell you everything I know about the real estate market up here. Some people just are curious and they want to know if it might be a place they want to work and we'll talk and they'll decide, nah, it's not and other times people call and they want me to help them find a home which is great because my best clients come from YouTube so uh, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video so I am outside the Lake Mary country store if you're headed out from Flagstaff towards Lake Mary this is a place you might want to stop if you forgot something you want a snack or a drink or something like that it's a very small store but very cute out in the way to Lake Mary I'm actually almost to Lake Mary so this is a, a place you might want to stop if you are headed out for the day the Lake Mary Lake Mary country store now there is a little RV park behind me so I don't know if you can rent for the weekend or if you have to rent for the season or if it's a permanent thing but the Lake Mary RV park back there not far behind the Lake Mary Country Store. So right now I am standing near the dam of Lake Mary. So if you're not familiar with Lake Mary, uh, behind me where the water is is Upper Lake Mary. And then we have this uh, small little dam here and there you have Lower Lake Mary. Now, right now Lower Lake Lake Mary could be totally dry, but that's not always been the case. In fact, when I lived at Mormon Lake in 1993, we had so much snow that year that Lake Mary, Upper Lake Mary, spilled over the dam, which is exactly what this dam is for, right? It's runoff um, and it spilled into Lower Lake Mary. Lower Lake Mary was full all the way to the other side where it goes underneath the road. It goes underneath Lake Mary Road. And we had so much snow that year that it had gone and spilled over on the other side and washed away Lake Mary Road. So here I was living at Mormon Lake and going to NAU. I had to go around. I had to leave Flagstaff, go down to Stoneman Lake, go Stoneman Lake to Lake Mary Road, Forest Highway 3, and then come back to Mormon Lake while the road was washed out. So I don't think that has ever happened since, and I don't think it ever happened before. Uh, another thing that was interesting is during the winter time, again, I commuted Lake Mormon Lake to Flagstaff, and in the winter time, towards the end of Lower Lake Mary, uh, eagles would come. So there would be bald eagles that would nest up in the tree, and I would see them on my way to school every day. So that was fun. This is a fun place, uh, summertime or wintertime. Another thing happened once is in the wintertime, we used to, Lake Mary will freeze, and we occasionally would go ice skating. We'd come, you know, back when my kids were little. Um, I'd come with uh, my husband at the time and the kids and we'd ice skate on Lake Mary and one day somebody came and they pulled up to the boat ramp with their boat and they're getting ready to launch and they look and the lake is frozen and he's like, 
whoa, glad I bought the boat. And then he just laughed and turned around and, and left. So it was fun that he had a good sense of humor because some people would get mad that you dragged the boat all the way out and the lake was frozen. So again, Lake Mary, there's good fishing here. People in the summertime will bring their boats and they'll go, uh, some people I've seen water ski. Again, fishing, in fact, this is a popular fishing spot. So uh, a great lake, about 15, minutes outside of Flagstaff on Lake Mary Road. You should check it out if you're, you know, if you live in Flagstaff, of course, you probably already checked it out, but it's a very nice lake. I, I, I love coming here. So I'm at the Lake Mary boat ramp and here's where you would come if you're going to launch your boat and go out for the day or if you're just coming from a picnic there's a little picnic area over there there is in the at least in the summertime there's a day use fee of ten dollars per car which is really not that bad for a day at the lake and uh, you can go fishing you can go boating I've seen people water ski I've seen people with jet skis actually back in the day I had a boat and we would uh, launch on Lake Mary and just I never went water skiing out here but I did spend some time fishing and it's a fun place to go so definitely want to check this out and um, you can launch your boat here right now because it's a uh, it's early September past Labor Day not that many people here if you would come in the summertime this place would be packed all the parking spaces would be taken and uh, all the picnic areas over there people would be picnicking and fishing and fun stuff but actually it's really nice to come in the fall in uh, October September and November because you have a little more you know a little more space and um, it's definitely fun to come up here to Lake Mary and right now I'm at Upper Lake Mary So I am in a little cabin community in Flagstaff called Elk Park Meadows. And this is a cute little place. It's an off-grid community. And if you're going out towards Lake Mary on Lake Mary Road, you would make a uh, turn off a street called Crimson and go about seven miles and then you would get to this community. This is an off-grid community. Most of the homes are on one acre for power you would put solar panels in and for water a lot of the places either have a well or they do a water haul service so right now behind me i have two lots listed each are 1.2 ish acres and they're listed for $149,000. Uh, stuff doesn't come up for sale here that often. I would say in the last 12 months, there have been maybe four or five lots that have sold in here. Again, they've been selling 165,000, 145,000, depending on the size. So, you know, you can figure about an acre, $150,000 to buy a nice big piece of land here, and then you could put up your own property. So this is really nice and peaceful. Um, it was a pleasant ride out here. We saw a herd of antelope as we were on our way. And um, if this is something you'd be interested in, certainly give me a call and I could tell you more about it. I could tell you how to get here at some big game trail if you ever wanted to just google it and um, or go to Zillow and get more information but it's just a fun community it's a nice day it's a fall day and it's cool and it's just kind of a nice uh, little trip out here and you could be um, having a desolate family vacation on your own property So I am in a little neighborhood that is, if you're headed out to Lake Mary, it's about maybe 15 minutes outside as you start on Lake Mary Road. It's just a, a little neighborhood that has been here forever and you'll have you know, little houses, big houses, kind of all mixed in. A lot of these went probably years ago, you know, like 70s and 80s, but it's kind of a, a neat little neighborhood. Uh, right now there is a home here for sale. I think it's a small two bed, one bath, uh, but on an acre and it's going for like the high 400. So yes, of course, this is still Flagstaff and that's why stuff is still expensive. Now also in here is a nice manufactured home too, pending, nice manufactured home in mid 400, one as low as $350,000. So again, this might be an area to consider if you don't want to be right in town, probably 15 minutes to get here 
outside of the Lake Mary Road turnoff. Cute little neighborhood here just says, uh, you know, Lake Mary Road. So I have just turned off Lake Mary Road, headed out towards Lake Mary and Mormon Lake. And I want you to know that behind me is a huge parcel of land that is zoned multifamily. So if you're interested in saying, building an apartment complex here in Flagstaff, it's about a five acre parcel listed for $1.4 million. So that's again, just one of the pieces of uh, a lot and property that you can find out this week. This is very close to the uh, turn off though, very close to town. You can hear there's a lot of traffic behind me, but it has the potential if you are an investor looking for a place to put up uh, an apartment complex or even a duplex or an aplex, uh, you might want to consider this lot that's right behind me. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the east side of Flagstaff off of Lake Mary Road, Lake Mary itself, and some of the little neighborhoods you might want to buy a summer or winter cabin. My name is Dawn Dickinson. I sell real estate here in the northern half of the state. If you have any kind of a real estate question, feel free to contact me. I will call you back. And I post videos here every single week. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, a subscribe, and notification bell. And I hope to see you back here again next week.